I'm a scientist working on fuels and one of my suppliers has just sent me a sample of a new uh, combustion catalyst which they claim will make burning of fuels more efficient. So I need to test this and therefore I need to find some formulations using traditional combustion catalysts which I can take that formulation and modify it with the new material. So I'm going to search in the notebook both my own experiments and my colleagues and see what I can find. So I do a quick search uh, for fuel catalysts and I get a list of experiments. And I could open each of these experiments to see which ones are relevant. Maybe the title gives me enough information. It looks like this is probably the most likely experiment. But I can also, from here, directly see the content of these experiments. Uh, I can see that this one uh, looks like it's just, just that data sheet. And this one uh, probably is more interesting. It's describing the use of this... Uh, a platinum compound as a fuel catalyst and there's a, a basis here of a formulation. So this looks interesting. I'm going to open up this experiment and we can look more closely. So I open up the experiment and yes I think I can make use of this formulation. Uh, I can modify that. Uh, there's even a, a link here to the experiment when the fuel was tested. Yeah, I can click on that link and I can and look at that testing procedure that might be useful when I come to test uh, the fuel that I prepare. So here is that uh, that testing procedure with the, the equipment, etc. So going back to the experiment we were just looking at, uh, I could just take and copy and paste this formulation and, and modify it, but actually I'm going to take this whole experiment because it contains that link to the testing and everything else. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clone this experiment. So I go to the cogwheel here for the experiment and I choose to save it as another experiment. So I save it as another experiment. So I'm cloning this experiment and the new experiment will be created. So here comes the new experiment and we can see it's exact copy of the other experiment except it's got uh, different dates and experiment number etc. And then I can take this experiment and I can modify it. So instead of the, the platinum catalyst, I, I can now put in the, the material that I've been sent. So the ACME test uh, 1457. And I find that I need a little bit more water to dissolve it. So I'm going to have to put in the different quantities here, 250. Uh, parts by weight of water, etc. So I can modify this experiment, but you can see that I can save time uh, by reusing an old experiment and just modifying the things that are different in the new experiment. So that's just one simple example of how by Ovia Notebook you can find data much more easily searching your own notebooks and your colleagues' experiments as well, and then you can make use of that not just by looking at the data but you can also reuse that data and then modify it as needed.